Hello, good morning. Lauren Nakar here for Daily Vibe Check. It is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. And uh, let's see what spirit wants us to know today for greatest and highest good. Um, what things can we look for to embrace? What things can we look for to avoid? Um, what kind of plan do we need to have together to, you know, to deal with anything that might come our direction? Um, what kind of actionable steps do we need to take today? Let's see, what's the overall vibe? What do we need to celebrate today? All right, what does spirit want us to know? Seven of Swords reversed. Now, Seven of Swords upright. You can see the guy's like running away with something. He looks totally like he's getting away with something. Okay. And when it's, it, it's actually a card of theft, losing something um, that means something to you or somebody taking something that doesn't belong to them. And when it's reversed, it is an apology or something that has been taken from you is regained or returned. So let's see what goes with that. Nine of Pentacles. I love this. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles. Let me get the light better. Anyway, so Nine of Pentacles is, as a person, it's someone who has worked really, really hard to get to that level nine status and is enjoying the fruits of the labor. It's that person who way back in the beginning planted the seeds, had the idea, planted the seeds to grow that garden. And over time, really grew the garden, started seeing some of that come together. And then oh, we went through fives and had conflict. Oh my gosh, like uh, rabbits are trying to eat my stuff. How do I get rid of this? Okay, let's problem solve, figure out how do we, how do we overcome this? And then the sixes come along and then we're like, oh, things are much more balanced. Sevens can be a little bit of chaos again, but then eights balance things back out and kind of up the game. And by the time you get to the nines, you're like, I got this figured out. Now I can go out and reap what I have sown. Um, and that and that's what the Nine of Pentacles is. And also for it is for people who enjoy that. Like it's just that feeling that of luxury and um a lot of a lot of pride in what you're doing and just enjoying life enjoy the life that you worked so hard for so i find that interesting like if you feel like something has been lost um or taken from you it can be literal or figurative and then and then working really hard to get beyond that and realizing wow look at everything i've done all right, so it could be, again, this could be literally credit cards hacked at one point, and finally the credit card company has reimbursed you and said, you know what, you are not at fault at this and everything is fine. And then you're able to go back to enjoying the things that you worked so hard for. Relationship, um, maybe, let's see. Maybe you were in a relationship and your sense of peace was taken away for whatever reason. You know, something was stolen from you within that relationship or taken from you. You lost something that belonged to you in that relationship. And something now the tables have turned and maybe you've gotten that back. Maybe you've gotten your confidence back. Maybe you've gotten your voice back. And now it's time for you to enjoy the person that you are and celebrate that. All right, let's see. What do we want to celebrate in all this? What is our celebrate card for the day that goes along with this? Seven of, seven of swords reversed and nine of pentacles. Are we celebrating as something is returned to us and we get to enjoy it? For me, with, okay, I guess that's the cards that we're looking at. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. So I was just getting ready to say an example for me is like the, my dad, the one that was just killed a week and a half ago. Um, he, 
he took something from me. He took a part of me that didn't belong to him emotionally, physically, and all those things all those years ago. And with him, and, and the big thing was that sense of peace. I couldn't just run around the town because he just lived like one town over. He lived like just a few miles away for me to go to a grocery store. It was like this underlying theme, or this underlying fear all, all times that I was just going to run into him. What if I run into Oh, okay, let's go try out this new restaurant. Oh, what if I run into my dad? That'd be awkward. Then you have to go through the stress of what happens if I do that? What if I say? What do I do? Do I walk away? What if he talks to me? Then what? That sense of peace was taken for me. And now he's gone. So now I can actually enjoy the things that I, I work hard for and the things that I, and in the garden that I've created, I can enjoy the place in which I live. But I find this interesting that these two cards came up co creation and forgiveness. So, you know, at some point, like a long time ago, I forgave my dad and it wasn't for him. It wasn't it for him at all. It benefited him in no way, shape or form. It was for me to move on because without forgiveness and without choosing to let something go so we can survive and we can, we can live in the lap of luxury. We can, we can enjoy our, what we're doing. We have to sometimes forgive and let something go. Okay. That doesn't mean we forget. It doesn't mean that they got away with something. It doesn't mean anything, but if you're carrying something heavy with you and you are unable to move on from something, it is near impossible to be in co-creation with spirit. And I found the more that I let go of him, as well as other things toxic in my life, you know, I had to forgive my ex-husband, um, who for many, many years was just not a good person. Um, made a lot of really, really bad choices. And I had no choice but to forgive and move on. Um, you know, I, I've had to, the situation with my daughter, who has decided I'm evil, terrible, toxic, and dysfunctional because I told her how I felt about something. I have to forgive her and move on. You know, I felt like my daughter was taken from me. Something was taken from me. I lost something. And now it's not that she's returned. I just have claimed my, my, myself back and realized, you know, I'm not a terrible person. I am not that just because she said I am doesn't make me so. So I have to enjoy the things that I, that I have succeeded in that I've done well. And by forgiving and moving on. Also, let's just talk about how my nails like match that card. Just throwing that out there. Shout out to Mandy Lane. She's my nail tech person. My, uh, my color street tail <laughs> color street nail person. Love her. Um, but without that forgiveness, it is impossible to be in co-creation with spirit. It's impossible to, to see beyond the nose on our own face, to see beyond our pride that has been hurt, to see what spirit does offer us. And once you have reclaimed whatever you've lost, whatever's been taken, whatever you've given away, sometimes it has nothing to do with somebody just stealing something. Sometimes we give things away that don't belong to people. Once we can find that forgiveness and work with spirit, then you enjoy the things that you work for. You find joy in the, in your life for all the good that you've created and the good that you've done. So that's a really positive vibe overall. I love it. Um, oh, also tomorrow sign session. We've got a sign session. It was supposed to be May 2nd, but we, um, had to, I ended up judging a dance competition out of town. And so I, we could not, <clears throat> we couldn't do it. So we had to reschedule. It is tomorrow, tomorrow night, eight o'clock Eastern standard time. Go to, um, www.messagesfromtheotherside.weebly.com 
um, and sign up. You can just pay right there. It's 30 bucks. It's only $30 and you get reading. You get a reading from all three of us, Dana, Angie, and myself. And I tell you what, when the three of us are working together, we are unstoppable and like some crazy stuff. We, bl we blow our own minds. We're like, how, okay, got you. Yeah. Um, so definitely if you've got the time tomorrow night, uh, sign up for that. Would love to hear from all of you. And uh, again, well, seating is limited. So, and I think there's only been one out of all that we've done um, that has not sold out. And that was with one seat available. That was it. And that was only because last minute, the person that, that seat number 10 had, had something come up. So um, we are usually all sold out. Um, yeah, would love to see you at our sign session and it's, it's been, it's recorded. So if for some reason, you know, you want to go back and watch it, you'll have access to that. It's not made public. It's just for the people who attended. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. And, um, I hope y'all have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.